The USAF just revealed B-21's loyal wingman. Consider that a long-feared war with China breaks out sometime in the next decade. The U.S. Air Force sends advanced fighter jets and bombers into the most hostile territory it has faced in decades in order to destroy Chinese defenses and gain access to its airspace. However, this mission is not like the previous ones. A swarm of small drone wingmen swarms alongside each manned aircraft, operating with little direction from the accompanying pilot. They scout ahead of time to map out targets, utilize electronic warfare functionalities to jam enemy signals, and launch their own missiles to undertake airstrikes and destroy targets, effectively multiplying the impact of a single pilot in battle. Top Air Force leaders, most notably Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall, see this as the future of warfare. And he's certain that this isn't a sci-fi fantasy. Want to know more? Well, hey guys, welcome to our channel, Future War Planes, where we tell you about military fighter jets, military drones, and military planes from the currently famous in the air to the most advanced around the world. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. And before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. And let's begin! For years, the Air Force has discussed combining drones and manned aircraft, most prominently as a possible feature of its top-secret next-generation air dominance platform. The technology is now there, which allows us to talk about a formation of a manned aircraft controlling multiple unmanned aircraft, Kendall said at a Center for a New American Security Forum on January 19th. There's enough technology available from previous programs to convince me that this isn't a crazy idea. However, the Air Force's plans for doing so are now coming into focus, energizing defense firms who are hoping that their years of work combining manned and unmanned systems will pay off. We are catching the wave that's now being created, said Richard Sullivan, an executive at Northrop Grumman, adding that Kendall's recent comments have left him very excited. Lieutenant General Clint Hynote, Deputy Chief of Staff for Strategy, Integration, and Requirements, said on a November panel that aerial combat is headed in this direction, though he cautioned that the Air Force is still experimenting to iron out the kinks. We don't even know how this is going to play out yet, Hynote said. However, it is clear that autonomous collaborative platforms, or unmanned systems, will play a significant role in the future of warfare. With the United States military shifting its focus to winning a war against a more advanced adversary, such as China, experts believe the manned-unmanned teaming concept will be critical to the United States' victory. According to reports, the U.S. Air Force may incorporate the Australian-made Boeing MQ-28 Ghostbat drone into the next-generation Air Dominance family of systems. The U.S. Air Force expects that NGAD program to replace the F-22 fighter plane in 2030, possibly combining crew and uncrewed aircraft, as well as other systems and sensors. So, what is packed with the Boeing MQ-28 Ghost Bat? Boeing's MQ-28A Ghost Bat is expected to revolutionize air power projection. The Ghost Bat, also known as the Air Power Teaming System, is an uncrewed teaming aircraft designed from the start to support crewed aerial platforms in the loyal wingman role. It will function as a low-cost, attributable force, multiplying asset that will significantly boost the power and versatility of any air arm, empowering operators to strengthen their ability to project air power in the battle space. There really is no doubt that the Loyal Wingman platform has the potential to change the game. Because of the concept's low cost, operators will be able to expand their frontline combat aircraft fleets, providing air arms with next-generation disruptive capabilities without having to purchase expensive crewed aircraft or worry about pilot survivability. However, the concept's still relatively new in the defense world, and the majority of Loyal Wingman solutions are still in the early stages of development. The ATS is intended to have low observable or stealth fifth generation flight characteristics and fighter like performance, and Boeing has used the digital twin concept to develop much of the MQ 28A in virtual space, which is both cost effective and time saving. Using such methods allows systems to be deployed much faster than if they were designed and developed in traditional ways. The platform also makes extensive use of artificial intelligence technologies, allowing it to fly missions in support of crewed air assets while maintaining a safe distance or undertake independent operations in the battle space. The MQ-28A's digital open architecture allows for the rapid integration of new sensor packages, allowing it to perform a wide variety of roles ranging from ISR and air combat missions to tactical early warning missions.
In response to queries about the Ghost Bat, an Australian DOD spokesperson stated the aircraft can team with a wide variety of crewed and uncrewed aircraft and perform various missions due to its flexibility and modularity. Because we know that a crewed asset cannot wait for a teaming asset to catch up, the aircraft is being designed with fifth generation flight characteristics. It is powered by a mature, affordable commercial turbofan energy with a long range and it's 38 foot long. Its modular design provides enough payload capacity to perform a variety of missions and allows for rapid fueling and reconfiguration. We expect to be able to operate from a variety of forward operating bases as well as in harsh environments. It'll be capable of a variety of missions that will complement and extend existing fleets. We will continue to consider additional roles as the capability matures. The modularity of the MQ-28A will allow it to operate as a complement to the current fleet in a teaming scenario or independently, depending on the mission. In terms of payload capacity, the MQ-28A's massive nose section is one of the platform's most remarkable design features and holds the key to its ability to be rapidly reconfigured. In short, the nose section of the Ghost Bat can be quickly removed and replaced between missions, allowing operators to change the aircraft's capabilities based on mission parameters. This allows for faster turnaround times and greater mission flexibility, as well as greater and more adaptable capabilities when operating from forward operating bases or remote locations. It also implies that aircraft used as a part of potential swarm could be outfitted with various sensors and systems that cover different aspects of a mission. For an ISR mission, for example, one aircraft may be equipped with an electro-optical infrared or EO-IR sensor or signals intelligence SIGINT, payload, while the other aircraft may be equipped with an air-to-air -air loadout to serve as an escort for the ISR-configured MQ-28A. Other advantages stem from the system's digital open architecture, which will eventually allow export customers and industry vendors to develop their own mission payloads for the MQ-28. At the moment, no firm program of record for Australia's MQ-28A acquisition has been established, nor have any dates been set for the platform to achieve both initial and full operational capability. When asked about it, an Australian Department of Defence spokesperson told AFM the Australian Integrated Investment Plan has a teaming air vehicles project named AIR-6015. This project, which could cost up to $7.48 billion, US dollars, will take a systems-of-systems systems approach to developing the RAAF's autonomous air vehicles capability. The platform mix for Air 6015 has not been decided. And that's going to do it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on the like button and make sure you share it with all your friends and family. If you have any further questions or comments, you can always share them with us in the comment space down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channels to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected just for you. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll catch up with you in the next one.